All right, I'm getting ready to make a scene here, but first thing we got to do is we got to trim the edge of the carpet. Very, very important. If you don't do this, your seam will look like crap. So basically, you just get a straight edge, put it on there. I just line it up. I'm going to cut off about an inch. That's about the width of my knife, so I just do that on the front. Do that on the back. Check the front again, make sure it didn't move. And then I just give her a slice. Move it down. Line it up up there. Put my knife over here. Line it up. Slicer again. And I gotta cut off a little more yet. And that's it. I get a nice, straight, smooth edge on that. Just fold that back into place and get out my tape measure see how much I'm gonna need for my fill piece it's gonna be 13 inches always check the other side because you never know you get in some of these houses and they're not real square and this one's pretty close I cut off a 13 inch piece That'll work just fine. All right, now that I got both of these sides trimmed nice and straight, now we put this seam tape underneath there. And you wanna put it halfway on both sides. See the line in the middle? Line that up, put this halfway in, just like so. show you the next step okay now that we got that tape underneath there halfway on both sides like so and we take this thing called a seaming iron and put that on that tape like that and you gotta wait I don't really know how long I've been doing this for so long. It's like, I don't really have no time to it. I just know. <laughs> but basically, when I was taught, it's like when the glue starts to beat up here a little bit, then you want to move it. Which, I don't know, my guess here is it's not long. It's long enough, though. I don't know, I never timed it. I really should do that. Give you guys a better idea. But you just want to have it like that. And it's just waiting. Let's see here. Yeah, it's starting to beat up now. Alright, I can just... Slowly move it forward. Just lightly push down on that, slide your other piece into there. Make sure they're nice and tight. You want that backing to be exactly together. Exactly. And you take this thing called the carpet tractor. Push that glue up into that backing. See that square backing? You push that glue right up into there with this. Pushes it up in there nice. Then you take this thing, called the seam weight, and you put it on there. And by the time you're done with that, 
you're pretty much ready to move it again. Pretty close. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it's starting to beat up a little. Oh, we just move it up. Push that down. Push that together. Take the tractor. Back your weight up a little bit. Take the tractor. And move your weight on it. And you do that all the way down. It takes a long time. This is the longest process of the whole job, it seems like. It's putting all these pieces together. Alright, and when you're done, it's pretty much what it should look like. You gotta give it about a good 10 or 15 minutes before you can move it or anything, but that's what the back will look like. And then you just go along and kind of do this and look for stuff like that. I don't know if you can really see that, but there's a string there. And you just come in and cut those off. Go down, you look and see if any of these other yarns are higher than the others. And if you find one, just cut it off. No big deal. And that's pretty much what there is to semen.